Tonight on Bear on Grain, we got the Barstown Chateau de la Bade. This comes in 107 proof. Picked this up, it's around 175, my local total of wine over here on the East Coast. Um, this is their second edition. This one here is made with Dickel. Uh, the last first one was MGP, and it was one of the best ones ever released. I personally have never seen it, but the reviews have been fantastic. And you guys have all seen the secondary market, how high that's gotten with it, if you can still find one. Um, Bardstown Bourbon, great blenders. Um, this is finished in Armagnac casks. So this is a secondary finished. If you're a person who loves secondary finish, this is a highly sought after bottle. Um, this also got a lot of hype because of the first one. This comes in around 107 proof. So great drinker, 107 proof, easy to put down. Obviously it's not cast strength, but cast strength you can't drink all night. Plus you can see some of the cool shapes and cool designs they have on this bottle. Bardstown bourbon. All right, let's get in it. So I actually poured myself a little bit. Mm. Oh yeah, on the nose, dark fruit, heavy dark fruit. Almost like a little bit of a leather. You get a little bit of the bite from the alcohol, you can still tell that's there. Almost get a little bit of orange, orange peel in this. Yeah, orange peel for sure. That, that smells wonderful. That is really good smelling. You guys kind of see the color on that. Real nice dark amber color. And the legs on it. Whew, it's got some legs. There's legs dripping down the glass that tells you there's real good viscosity. It's going to give you a nice oily mouth feel to it. Oh, that is good. That is good. Really makes me wonder what the first one was like. I myself have never got a hold of the first one. Obviously now it's way too late. When it first came out, I wasn't aware of what it was, I guess. At that time I was still learning bourbon, kind of like a lot of other people. Um, but now in secondary market, you've seen the price. I think I've seen them up to like $1,900 for a bottle. Yep, so if you really like a wine finish or a very fruit forward finish, this bottle will do it for you. And this is a great sip of bottle. And if you can get a hold of something like this, you're surely going to be pleased. But then again, you got to remember this is 175, 180 bucks currently is what the market's hitting. Uh, if you do get a hold of it and you do have the spare cash, you will not be disappointed. Um, this is really good though. So if you get the chance, Bartstown Bourbon, Chateau de la Bade. It's probably the most fanciest sounding whiskey I have in my whole collection. Uh, if you do get the chance, try it out. And that's it for tonight. On Barrel and Grain. If you guys have something to comment, please comment below. Like, subscribe. Uh, I just started this channel out not that long ago. Channel's Barrel and Grain. Check it out. I'll be putting out more and more videos as much as I can. I have plenty in my collection I kind of want to go through and share with everybody else so that way everybody else can enjoy. And also, I like to see what other people say before I go buy something. I'm sure which a lot of you do. No one likes going out and spending a lot of money on a bottle and then regretting it. But that's all I have for you guys tonight. Enjoy and keep hunting.